What is up, y'all? Welcome to week four, homework two. We're talking about rational functions. So this is a very natural uh, progression for us from polynomials. Na rational functions tend to uh, have a lot of similarities and applications that can be um, overlapping between them and polynomial functions. So to get ourselves started, saying that I want to do is look into what are rational numbers. What does it mean to be a rational number? Um, so first of all, a rational number is any number that can be made by dividing two integers. Remember guys, an integer is just a whole number. So integers are numbers like, uh, here's, here are lists of integers. Numbers like two, negative three, uh, one, 100. Those are all integers, right? Um, the word rational comes from the base ratio. So rational numbers are just numbers which have a ratio, aka they are dividing. So a rational number, a rational number would be something like three over negative four. That would be a rational number because it is one integer, integer divided by another integer. Uh, other examples of rational numbers, um, the number four itself is actually a rational number because four is equal to four over one, right? So um, the thing is, y'all, um, even our integers are actually a just a subset of rationals. That's actually gonna be an interesting idea. So if if a rational number is just any two integers a and b over each other then my examples of rational numbers could be fractions like one half it could be positive or negative like negative three halves it could be a whole number it could be four it could be negative six these are all examples of just rational numbers that kind of begs the question of what is not a rational number it seems like everything is right well one particular example of something that's not a rational number would be pi. Remember, guys, pi is what we call irrational, as in not rational. Why is pi irrational? Uh, well, because pi is that number, 3.14, dot, 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 dot. It keeps going forever, and it does not actually ever stop um, listing numbers. And um, the reason why it's not irrational is because I couldn't actually write pi as a fraction. Pi cannot be written as a fraction. It is merely a constant, right? A number that exists in the world, which is a very useful number for us in a lot of our ratios relating with circles. Just keep in mind, y'all, that rational numbers are any two numbers that are dividing each other. And um, keep in mind that one of those numbers could be one. And that kind of can impact things a little bit, right? Because it doesn't look quite the same when it's four versus three over negative four. So before we start talking about rational functions, it'll be useful for us to reiterate what a polynomial function is defined as. So remember guys, polynomial functions are any function of the following form where I have a sub n, times x to the power of n plus a sub n minus one times x to the power of n minus one. And that continues on as the power, as the value up in the exponent on the x decreases until there are no x's. Essentially y'all, these a values, these a sub, I'm gonna call it a sub i in general. So like all of these, these are just coefficients, right? Coefficients, numbers, which are multiplying our x terms. And then here, n just represents the degree of the polynomial. And so the idea is that we, uh, in standard form, we have set up our polynomial function with all the terms in decreasing order by their exponent over the x term or the x factor. Okay, um, so a rational function takes this idea of polynomials, it takes the principles of polynomials, 
and applies it to a rational expression. So what does that really look like? Well, a rational expression is any two uh, numbers which are dividing each other, we just saw. And so a rational function, this is a rational, ex this is a rational number or expression. So a rational function would be of the following form. I'm going to call it r of x equals p of x over q of x, where p and q are polynomials. Okay, so the idea is that um, a rational function is just any function, which is two polynomials, dividing each other. Um, so what does that actually end up looking like? Well, that would look like a fraction of the form uh, a sub n x to the n, right? Because this is, this, is this is the sort of dot, 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 plus a sub 0. This is one polynomial function, right? This is a polynomial function, p of x. And then it would be divided by another polynomial function. Well, we should probably use different uh, variables to talk about it in general. So I'm going to use b sub m, x to the power of m, plus dot, 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 dot. It would work the exact same until we get to the last number, b sub 0. So what you can see here is that uh, I have two polynomials above each other. Uh, my polynomial P has a degree of N, and my polynomial Q has a degree of M. So I want you to go ahead and take a moment and analyze this definition of the rational functions, of rational functions, and I want you to make sure that you feel confident in your understanding of what is a rational function. Think about what kind of examples could plug in. What, what are some polynomials that could exist to create this rational function? All right, now if you need more time, you can go ahead and pause the video to think about that. But now we're gonna go ahead and move on to thinking about some examples and I'm going to show y'all four different examples of functions, and I want y'all to choose which of those functions is not, I repeat, which one is not a rational function. All right, y'all, so go ahead and take a look at these four different functions, a of x, b of x, c of x, and d of x, and I want you to take a moment, go ahead and please pause the video and looking at our definition of rational functions which of these four functions do you think is not a rational function what i'd like y'all to do is go ahead and when you have made up your choice uh, look down into the description of this video and you will see four different links for the different answers uh, a link for part a or for, for answer A, a link for answer B, a link for answer C, and a link for answer D. Those links um, you select based on which one you think is the correct answer, which one is not a rational function, and um, they should take you to the next video.